State Design Bureau Luch, based in Kyiv, is Ukraine's leading designer of air-launched anti-tank guided weapon systems. Over its 40-year history, Luch has evolved into a world-renowned entity specializing in research, design and development of airborne and anti-tank precision guided munitions, manufacture of air-launched and tank-destroying missile guidance and control systems, and design, development and manufacture of remote testing equipment for air-launched and anti-tank guided munitions. Luch is well established on the international market with its precision guided weapon designs. The items designed and developed by Luch are distinguished by their high competitiveness, technological innovations and cost efficiency. Luch is actively involved in maintaining the fighting capacity of the Ukrainian Armed Forces Guided Weapons Arsenal, in particular air defense weapon systems, airborne weapons and naval armaments, and precision guided munitions for land warfare. The State Design Bureau Luch supplies to the Ukrainian Armed Forces and also offers on the global arms market a complete family of long-range anti-tank guided weapon systems. Weapons of this kind have traditionally been in favor among many armies worldwide, as providing state-of-the-art anti-tank armaments to land forces would elevate them to a new qualitative level, with commensurate benefits for their overall combat potential and ability to conduct robust land warfare operations in adverse climates and weathers. The long-range missile system Skiff Scythian is designed to defeat armored targets at distances from 100 to 5,000 meters. The skiff can be used against tanks, light armored vehicles, and heavily protected weapon emplacements with a first round hit probability of 0.7 to 0.9. The skiff system consists of a skiff missile launcher with a control and guidance unit a remotely controlled firing post and containerized anti-tank skiff missiles. The tripod-mounted launcher system for the skiff weighs 26 kilograms, the infrared sight included, and is controlled remotely from the ground. After launch, the missile is guided by a laser beam directed at its tail rather than the target proper. The skiff system employs semi-automatic laser guidance. It enables the operator to track the target using a telescope sight, the missile in flight being tracked and controlled from a ground firing post. The target is designated and locked on with the use of an optical tracker and a thermal imaging sight, which enables operation by day and by night and in all weathers. The skiff design has an advantage over those offered by foreign competitors. The launcher may be as far as 50 meters away from the firing post, which reduces the risk for the operating personnel and also enables control of several launchers at a time and ensures that the weapon operates with low interception probability. The operator can choose the control and guidance mode as the situation requires. Once the target is designated and locked on, guidance is carried out automatically without the operator's further intervention, the missile being guided to its target by laser beam riding. Unlike its foreign-designed analogs, the system designed by Luch uses laser beam riding guidance mode. The missile is centered in the laser beam, but the target is not actually illuminated. The Ukrainian missiles are therefore more resistant to enemy jamming attempts and can operate with a high degree of efficiency in all weathers, in dusty or smoke blanketed environments or areas with dense vegetation. The missile effectively defeats armored vehicle protection systems of all types, whether composite armor, active protection, spaced armor, or explosive reactive armor. Reactive armor can be defeated with multiple hits in the same place or by tandem charge weapons, which fire two or more shaped targets in rapid succession. 
to disable protection of this kind, the skiff missile carries a tandem warhead shaped charge consisting of two separate shaped charges, one in front of the other with some distance between them. system fires the common armor-piercing container-launched missile R-2S, which in this containerized configuration has 1.09 meters in length and 0.13 meters in diameter and weighs 16 kilograms. The R-2S anti-armor missile is common to the skiff portable anti-tank guided weapon system and to the barrier system, which is part of the indigenous AIFV remote weapon station Squall Gust. This equips infantry fighting vehicles and armored personnel carriers, among them the newly designed Ukrainian APCs BTR-3E and BTR-4, as well as the upgraded BMP-2IFV. Well, provides two barrier pods with ready-to-fire missiles. To enhance the firepower delivered by AFV guns, Luch has designed and developed a complete family of missiles optimized for launching from a tank or an AFV gun tube. They defeat armor targets with a high first round hit probability at ranges twice longer than those of standard armor-piercing rounds. 
which has developed the anti-tank guided missile R-111 Stugna. It is launched from the D-10T 100mm gun on the T-55 tank or the MT-12 gun system. The Stugna is already operational in the Ukrainian army. Along with the Stuhna, Luch offers potential export customers a range of guided weapons tailored to gun calibers of 100, 105 and 115 mm. For the BMP-3 armored infantry fighting vehicle, Luch has designed a guided missile codenamed Item 201, which is tailored to the vehicle's 100 mm gun. Luch has designed a precision guided missile specifically for the 115 mm gun mounted on the T-62 tank. This weapon can destroy tanks and other armored targets at a range up to 5,000 meters before they activate their own protection. One of the latest designs by Luch is the Combat Anti-Tank Guided Missile. It is optimized for launching from 125 mm guns seen on Soviet-era tanks such as the T-64, T-72 and T-80 UD. The combat missile can defeat targets at a range up to 5,000 meters and it is employed by the Ukrainian military forces. The combat is stowed like other rounds in the ammunition rack and handled just like any other type of ammunition. The 30 kilo combat missile consists of two parts. One includes a powder charge pusher and an equipment compartment with a control device. The second part includes a sustainer engine and a tandem warhead. Both parts are stowed in the automatic loader the same way as the conventional ammunition. The two parts join into one body in the gun before the firing moment. A tandem-shaped charge warhead makes up almost half the length, allowing a heavier explosive payload to be delivered to the target. The warhead weighs 9 kilograms, including a 3 kilogram explosive charge. The combat missile can be fired while both the tank and target are moving. The tandem warhead enables the missile to destroy targets fitted with highly efficient explosive reactive armor with a high degree of efficiency. The missile is meant primarily for battle tanks operating at ranges beyond the effective range of conventional ammunition, fired from the 125mm tank gun but it also can be fired against other battlefield targets, such as helicopters and pillboxes. The Konos Cone laser beam riding anti-tank guided missile was designed by Luch to match the NATO standard 120mm tank gun caliber. The Konos carries a tandem-shaped charge warhead which can penetrate 700mm thick rolled homogeneous armor behind explosive reactive armor. The guidance and control techniques employed for the Conus are similar to those for the combat. The Barrier V anti-tank guided weapon system has been developed in configurations specially tailored to aerial platforms, primarily helicopters, such as the Mi-24, for destroying armored and fast-moving targets. The Barrier V, using a 6.4 kilo tandem warhead, is able to defeat tanks and other armored targets, including those protected with explosive reactive armor, at ranges up to 7,500 meters. Measuring 1,825 mm long and 130 mm in diameter, in containerized configuration, it weighs 44 kilos and is able to penetrate rolled homogeneous armor thicker than 800 mm behind explosive reactive armor. Air maneuver combat, the key role is assigned to such weapons as short range air to air missiles. The state designed Bureau Luch has completed RD on a new generation air launched missile commissioned by the Defense Ministry. 
for the Air Force's future jet fighters, such as the upgraded MiG-29. The new missile, to be codenamed GRAN, is claimed to be capable of defeating targets at a range up to 20 kilometers on overtake courses and 40 kilometers on lead collision courses. For gaining air dominance, primarily in a close-air maneuver combat, an air-to-air -air missile has to be highly maneuverable, all-directional and small-sized. The cave-based State Design Bureau Luch is a world-renowned designer of automated checking and fall diagnostic systems for precision-guided weapons. The company has designed and developed a series of automated checking systems, among them the GURT, INGUL, AKIPS, and TRUBEZH. Since 2002, Luch has been supplying both the Ukrainian armed forces and foreign customers with the most up-to-date complex GURT-M. Its modernization was based on the long practical experience in operating automatic control systems. It creates considerable advantages needed to maintain high combat capacity of air forces. The modernized complex GURT-M has higher operation capacities, reliability and quality. GURT-M controls, diagnoses and prepares for use more than 50 modifications of airborne weaponry, practically all Soviet-made missiles and a number of promising types of air-to-air -air and air-to-surface missiles and guided aerial bombs. scientific and technological potential of Luch allows it to cope with the most challenging tasks involving the design, development, manufacture and export of a wide range of state-of-the-art military technologies. The activities of the state enterprise Luch, both current and projected into the future, are invariably aimed at accomplishing the maximum possible effect at the minimum possible cost and in full compliance with customer requirements.